Hotel. It's a property event uh, by JT Fox, as you might know him already. Uh, basically here, uh, they're teaching us how to make money in property, how to invest in property with or without money. This is you going to the bank, getting leverage. It's a lot of crazy stuff that we people can actually utilize here in South Africa uh, for the fact that the property market here is absolutely amazing. It's a JT Fox event as everybody else might know already. So uh, come on in man, we're just gonna show you what we've learned. Right, uh, as you know, uh, we're here at the JT Fox event obviously. It's a property event. And right here I'm standing with uh, Jeff Huck, and uh, he's actually a property investor and he's been in the business for, for how long sir? Uh, seven years now. Seven years. He's been in the business for seven years and we're learning from the best. And we're just out here to show you this video and teach you as well in terms of uh, property. So, uh, Jeff, can you uh, tell us uh, why did you pick uh, property? How did you get into the business and how easy is it to get into the business? Well, I picked it because I, I believe that it is the best form of investment uh, one can ever do in the world. Okay. It's the most secure investment. Uh, there are many other investments, but for me, this is the most secure one. Okay. Um, I didn't start uh, straight away as an investor. I started as an estate agent, uh, during which time I learned how to sell a property and uh, how to appreciate the value of the property and how to you know, negotiate uh, deals and so on and so on. So, on. so uh, from there, I started to... Uh, myself in writing some of the courses that I do property investment and I uh, wrote those in the past and I started my own company after that. What? Uh, based in Pretoria Centro. Or what was the company? The Nicopolis Real Estate. Nicopolis. Nicopolis Real Estate. Okay. Okay. And into property letting and um, buying and selling. Buying and selling. Yes. So, so t can you just tell us uh, like what is the difference between a real estate agent and a property investor. What makes those two different? Uh, if you work uh, exclusively as a real estate agent, you are simply selling commission by, by property for commission, okay. and uh, letting also for commission. That's yeah. basically what an agent does on behalf of the, the, the owners of those properties. Oh, okay. Okay, but when you are an investor, you, you take an extra step ab ab above that. You start to actually buy your, your own property. Oh, own money. You own money and sell and sell the same. Okay. Or, or, yes, or let out the same property. Okay. Yes. All right. So what would you advise for a young person uh, who is really in love with property? Uh, but they do not know where to start or how to start because obviously not everybody affords a property in South Africa. Where do they find the money and how do they find the courage to, to begin into this business when it's land Well, the, the first place to start is always to learn this business, understand the, the, what, what's property, how to do it. Mm -hmm. Like in my case, I started basically as an estate agent. Yeah. Learn how to sell a property, somebody's property. Get a little uh, earning in terms of the commission out of it. And uh, as time goes on, you start to understand how this business operates. And, uh, you know, you can raise a little deposit, 10% on the, on the minimum, to, to, to actually start to invest in a property, 10%, and the bank was uh, loan you the other 90%. Mm -hmm. And that's a good start. Right. Even if you're employed, your pay slip is used to verify your affordability. And, uh, and uh, if you are an agent, it's still uh, the same thing. Uh, the, the, the average commission that you earn is also counted in terms of your earnings. And they assess your affordability on that basis. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody can buy a property. You just need to start. You need to also appreciate the industry and understand it. All right. Uh, no, we really appreciate this moment very much. Uh, thank you for, for allowing us the time and for showing everybody else at Loud Brand uh, what it takes to be a real estate investor or a, uh, an, an, an estate agent as a young person. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, everybody, as uh, I've introduced you already, uh, we're at the Zulu Inyana Hotel. It's property today. And I'm here with uh, Brian Wester. Uh, basically here to tell us more about property. He's actually a young guy, but he is in the business. And in fact, he's JT Fox student. And uh, so, yeah, we can take it away. Brian, uh, welcome. How are you? Well, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, yeah. Awesome, man. Uh, just, just, just to ask you, I mean, uh, I don't really know your age, but how old are you? Just I've now. just turned 24 now. 24? Yes. And how long have you been actually doing this, uh, the property? I've been, with, uh, I've been involved in the property industry for a year now, exactly. I yeah. uh, had zero business experience, zero business acumen, zero business, uh, or anything relating to property whatsoever last year, April, at this exact time. Oh. And it was actually completely by chance that I was actually traveling to Mozambique mm -hmm. and I've, I was there for two days and I actually came up with an, with an idea and that idea turned into an opportunity because I took action. And the minute I took action, amazing possibilities just opened. Three weeks later, I met JT Farms, and that completely kick-started my property career. Oh, so it's funny, you just think of an idea, and all of a sudden, opportunities show up. You start and do JT Fox in the very same Exactly. I mean, you know what? A lot of people, fear holds them back. And the only thing that you need to fear is fear in itself. And I came up with an opportunity, and I took action upon it, and I implemented it. And it's amazing what happens when you actually take a leap of faith and you get rid of that fear. Now, it's one thing getting rid of that fear, but it's also another thing surrounding yourself by the correct people, by hugely successful people, and people are a lot more successful than you. Because you start to change your circle of influence. And you start to change, you start networking around. And I started networking around multi-millionaires, such as JT Fox, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Donna Karen, George Ross, Donald Trump's right-hand man, who gave me some amazing strategies to go forward. Yeah. Oh, actually, actually, that's uh, that's very amazing. Now, uh, I'm sure you know the property industry. It requires a lot of capital. So, how do you uh, work around that? So well, you know what? That's actually a large misconception. Uh -huh. A lot of people say that I want to get started in property, but I don't know how. Yeah. Or a lot of people say I want to get started, but I don't have the funds. I mean, that's myself as well. Mm -hmm. so, and there's actually a lot of ways around that. Now, first of all, the most obvious way would be to partner with somebody that has finances in order. Now, a lot of people say, well, why would I partner with them or they partner with me if they can do it themselves? Exactly. You need to create some form of USP. And that fact that, I mean, you partner with them to gain access to his credit history or to his, finance, uh, to his financials, whereas you are going to be doing all the physical execution. You're going to be doing the groundwork of finding the deal, of constructing the deal, of sourcing new tenants and of putting the whole deal together and structuring. So you're taking away all the administrative side of it, you doing all the work and all you're doing is you're getting access to his credit history and his finances. That is one avenue to pursue that nobody understands. And that is actually based on something that JT Fox teaches called the Seth model. Is that you are piggybacking on somebody else's financial history and credit rating because you have no credit rating, you have no capital, and you just do the groundwork. All right. So now, uh, how do you find this person? What type is this? Like your school teacher? Well, is this your professor? Like what? Which person is this? You know, what, that's the amazing thing. I mean, it only takes one person, one deal to change your life. That person can be anywhere. They can be surrounding you on a daily basis. But I can say is that how you change is how you succeed, and the people who you surround yourself by is the people that you cut. If you start surrounding yourself by a lot more successful people, successful people want to work less and earn more. They've already got money. So that's who you actually want your target market to be, is people that are already successful, that are looking to increase their passive income without doing anything, and have all those credit histories and, and those, all those financials in place. So you can approach it. But now it's one thing that now you've identified a market and you can easily identify a market by attending business events or JT Fox seminars like this or property seminars throughout South Africa. Um, but another thing is, is that why will he need you and how do you position yourself to him? So you obviously also need to do a lot of due diligence on your part as well and know what you're talking about and have some form of experience to get started. Because you need to create a caption in the other person's mind of why he needs you instead of you needing him. It's very easy that as soon as you start and you're able to position yourself in a certain light, is that people need you more than you need them. And then you completely change the aspect on its head. And it creates this whole paradigm shift that you experience in your reality and they experience in their reality, meaning that property investing is actually extremely easy to get started. Yeah. All right. So you say you went to Martin. Uh, so I take it you basically had a lot of capital, or how did you initially start? I started with absolutely nothing. I had 2,000 rand in my bank account at the beginning of you April. You had it, right? <laughs> 2,000. Okay. I had 2,000 rand. 
And what I did is that I had some savings that I saved up Ashley, over my whole life, put away in an investment fund. Now what I did is that I withdrew a portion of that and I used it to start a website. Now that website is called propertymafutu.com and it's now Mozambique's largest online property platform within 11 months. Okay. So we started with that and it is amazing what you can do when you conceptualize an idea and you implement it through the correct avenues, of which I've had the pleasure of doing through, through my coaching and through my mentorship and guidance, that every dollar that you earn back, you reinvest in the business. So you focus on structuring your systems and structuring your fundamental principles so that you can make even more money, even more quickly, in a shorter period of time. Because then all of a sudden you start to go from zero capital to everything, instead of spending the money as you start earning and now that actually created a funnel, a funnel of information that led to the development of my various other companies. So I have an online property platform, then I've also got a brokerage agency based in Mozambique. Because so many people started perceiving us as the authority of Mozambique. And you can only turn business away for so long. So then we decided to simply satisfy the want and create another company. From that other company created a development company. So every portion of the way, it's as it's a stepping stone, meaning you don't need money to get started on property, you just need to start. You need to make a decision. For every property investor out there, you just need to identify one deal, one opportunity that can change your life completely and go for it. The minute you have an, a, a, a deal or an opportunity, it's amazing what starts to happen. You start to attract things towards you. When you start attracting things towards you, you just need to take action on that opportunity because you never know where it's going to be. Now I've got three different companies in two different countries, all from one opportunity. And within a year, if I did nothing, I would still be where I was. That's amazing. And clearly, age is not a factor. So you're only 24 years old, so you start to bring your twenty. Yes. And the only way is forward. Exactly. The only way is forward. You know what? Right in the beginning, I actually thought that my age was my biggest weakness. And that was a limiting belief that actually got brought up to me by one of my accountability coaches. And now that I realize that my age is actually my biggest strength, because I stand out like a sore thumb in front of the crowd of the rest. I like that. Now, it's, it's, it's one thing, I mean, my coach, Etienne Pretorius, gave me this great uh, piece of advice, is that you've got two ears, two eyes, and one mouth. So because of my young age, I need to hear twice, see twice, and speak once. But when I speak, I must make sure that people listen to what I have to say. Now that is where you can use your age to your advantage. By knowing what you're talking about, by educating yourself in your field of interest and delivering on results. Everything is results orientated. If you don't deliver, nobody will actually care who you are. But if you can deliver constantly and on time, all the time, then people will take notice instantly and it doesn't matter what your age is. I think that's amazing, and it wraps it up. And now I'm just going to ask you one question: like in terms of business, uh, what is branding? What is what factor does it play in terms of your success? And as you say, they took you as the, the main guy. Just out of one concept, one idea, which is a website. Yep, that's exactly it. And you know what? Branding is everything. You might have a great product or a great service, but if nobody knows about it, your company will crumble. However, you can have a company that's just starting out. And if you brand, position, and prospect yourself correctly in the market, people can perceive you as being established for a very long time. And that's, there's no problem with that whatsoever, as long as you still deliver on the results. And that fast tracks your results. So branding and marketing and positioning yourself as the authority with whatever field you're in is critical, especially in property investing. If you're looking to attract the right partners, attract the right deals, or create a team around you, because if you want to become a very successful individual property investor, you need to have a team. Now, you can only have a team if you are branded. So people know who you are, and they start bringing deals to you. Branding. Branding can happen through many different areas. Through social media, through online platforms, through offline platforms, through networking, through speaking, through attending events. As many avenues as possible, you need to pursue to position yourself as the authority in the market. Well, you had it, everybody. This has been uh, very much educational for myself as well. Uh, the event is still going on. I mean, there's still one more day, and uh, we really appreciate your time. And, uh, yeah, we look to seeing your name somewhere out there one day.
I mean, he's a South African, he's a young South African. And it doesn't matter the race, it's a matter of the action as a such. You just take action, and uh, I believe it's the speed of the action. So, uh, yeah. That's it, people. I hope you enjoyed what Austin has brought to you. There you have it, Prophecy Expert, giving you all the information that you need to know about Prophecy. Hope you enjoyed it, and please tune in for more to come. Do not forget to click that subscribe button and visit our website. Cheers.